everybody. What's going on, dude? Welcome back to DCG TV. This is episode. Ooh, what is it? Yes. Eleven? Is it eleven? It was. 11. It is. Wow. Because we did a little interlude on 11-11, yeah, yeah, yeah. and now this is episode 11. Oh, uh, that's 11-11 again. Kind of. All over my world. <laughs> Everywhere. It's coming for you. My goodness. But we're back. I don't know what that means. Does it mean aliens are going to come down and abduct you? Apparently it means either good things are going to happen to you, or bad things are going to happen to you, or the universe is conspiring um, to help you. You know what that's called? Pronoia. Oh. The opposite of paranoia. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, you could be pronoia. So when you think things are going to be good for you, it's yes, pronoia. Yes, indeed. So watch out for that pronoia. The universe is conspiring yeah. to Grab help it. you and make you happy. Grab it. Yeah. 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 And uh, we're filming on a Tuesday today. Yes. Which is uh, another thing just to keep you guessing so you don't get too comfortable with what we're doing around here. Yeah, mostly because that's a uh, Seahawk game on Thursday, yes. right? So, so we can turn it around. Yeah, we'll turn, this, yeah. turn this NFL season yeah. around. And uh, we got we got a fun show for you tonight. We got some news to chat about. It's been a couple weeks. A lot's been going on. Yeah. I think our last um, episode was the election. And right. the election hadn't been called yet. It hadn't been called. Yeah. It took a long time yeah, uh, we didn't know to get going there. Out. And for some people, it, has, it yeah. still hasn't been <laughs> yeah. called. Uh, get a life. Get over it. It's done. It's uh, over. Indeed. Know, fight the good fight. Um, I got a haircut. <sighs> Kyle. Check out these locks. Went. And it's a good thing you did, too, because the governor just shut us down. Again, I right? know. So you would have been Snuck it in. SOL. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anytime after. And I might have actually gone the whole year. <laughs> but what are you going to do? Um, it's uh, Thanksgiving next week. It is. Indeed. So we have a fun, crazy eights yep. in store for you. Yep. yep. In the theme of, in the, theme of the turkey day. Yeah. We got What's your favorite uh, thing about Thanksgiving? Is yeah. it just the food? Is it the family? Is it the football? What's your... You know, it's always been my favorite holiday. Mm -hmm. If I did really? one, yeah, it was Thanksgiving. Okay. And it was the family. Like, I just love the really long meal around a table together, drinking wine, catching yeah. up. And now it's not going to be like that. But I'm still going to enjoy it. Let me ask you this. Yes. Staying on the Thanksgiving. Because I know yeah. uh, Canada does uh, a they similar do. day, yes. right? But it's not the same. Uh, it's actually very similar, but it's it? in October. So the okay. Canadian Thanksgiving already happened. Right. Um, and growing up in Canada with American parents, we'd always celebrate them both. So maybe that's oh. why I also love Thanksgiving. Wow, you get two giant yes, meals. Yes, it used to be two. In a month or so. Indeed. Wow. And it's a similar, um, I believe it's a similar reason. Like there was a, a period when the natives, the, the local natives helped a particular group of settlers. Right. Um, Should have let them starve. Yeah, right. Look <laughs> what happened to you now. Yeah. But, c'est la vie. Uh, we got some company updates coming up to you. couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah that I yeah. know of. The way of uh, the show, we got some updates. I have a couple fun little uh, things. Nice. I spent some more money. Did you really? Yeah. Nice. And uh, it's no longer Sober October. No. So we have a delicious whiskey to sample. Looking forward to it. What else? There's something I'm missing. What am I missing? Oh, we've got a. Uh, we signed up for a couple of subscription boxes. Oh yeah, yeah. We did one the last time, uh, last show, maybe two shows ago. I can't mm -hmm. remember now. Uh, we have another one. We signed up for Loot Crate, ah. so we'll get a monthly uh, yes. box of kind of uh, what is it? The uh, uh, pop culture, yeah. comics, and movies. So like yeah, so we're interested. To I'm see pretty what we'll stoked get. about that. This one felt more in line when you were describing it to me with kind of our interests and like yeah. what we'd be excited. Pop yeah. culture and yeah. movies, stuff like that. Yeah, we'll see how the other one goes too. I mean, it's supposed to be guy manly stuff. Yeah, um, and we got cocktail. Well, you know, the last time we had a very fierce debate over these past couple weeks about should we drink whiskey or should we have the cocktail on this yes. show. And we ended up landing on whiskey. Yeah. Um, however, next show, we'll definitely try that delicious yeah, we'll try cocktail. The cocktail. I did run to the liquor store and got the Ancho Reyes yeah. uh, jalapeno or chili liqueur. Oh, so, so we're good. We're, we, got, we have all the ingredients. We'll, we'll get that set up next week. Yeah. Well, hey, should we take him to a break and come back with some news? Yeah, let's do it. See if I can get some tunes going here. Some tunage. All right, we'll see you soon.
interesting little tidbit from our last episode. Oh. At the end of the episode, and mm -hmm. I won't mention names, oh. you played a song from a certain well-known artist. Oh. And uh, YouTube, like... Instantly, right after, right after it got uploaded to Did YouTube, we got, a we got a strike. Oh, and the only way to fix it was to uh, either change the music to a YouTube uh, <laughs> sort of pre-recorded thing, uh -oh. or to uh, uh, just mute it out. So if you hear the end of the show, watch the show, and you hear nothing <laughs> at the end, that's because we had to mute. Uh, it. So we've learned our lesson, yes. YouTube. Well, now we will only play Dunce Cap Games music. Because I promise I won't sue us for, don't using, sue us, for using our music. We don't have any money. <laughs> yeah. Monetize my money, my mm -hmm. songs. Yeah. Oh, well, this is the time for the news. Right on, yeah. So the election happened. Yeah. And then it didn't end. So we sort of have a president-elect? Sort of have a president-elect. Trump, <laughs> Trump and his cronies have decided that they're not going to concede. <laughs> so they're not allowing any transition stuff to happen right now. That's so nuts. Well, and all those who was suing states, and those all got thrown out. Last yeah, time. I think uh, I think there might be one in Pennsylvania, but I mean, none of these suits were were you know, okay. validated. There's and none of these suits is going to overturn like ten thousand votes. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. might get a few hundred here, a couple there. Uh, but, I mean, these judges, these federal judges, and these judges that are appointed by Democrats, appointed by Republicans, they've been in, uh, you know, on the bench for a while, they're mm -hmm. federal, they're state, they're yeah. all these people, and they're laughing <laughs> the <laughs> president's <laughs> lawyers out of court. You can't just say fraud without having some evidence. Yeah, it's like fraud. Well, I can't show you the evidence yet. Okay, then you're <laughs> out. You know, or it's, uh, here's our witness that says he overheard somebody saying this. Huh. It's like, okay, that's called hearsay. Well, you, you, know, know? you know, I heard something. What? I heard that this project I worked on a few years ago, Okay. I had hired a subcompany of Trump Enterprises. What? And uh, they owe me like 15 grand. You need to sue. Should I sue? I would. I, th I heard somebody, they, they, they said that they have proof, but I don't have it yet, but I can. Trump is known for like not paying <laughs> his contractors, right? Yeah. And then, he, you know, you got a little guy that came in and painted a bunch of hotel rooms, you know, is charging, say, five grand. Yeah. And they come back, it's like, well, we're not paying it, you know, and then the guy's stuck going to small claims, he's going to court, and then they finally settle for like two grand, because he just, you know, I got to you know, he's got to get money. He's got to pay his guys. He's got to put lawyer on the now. table. And the lawyer now? <laughs> yeah. Man. So slimy. Yeah. Man. Do you know who did win in the election? Somebody won. Well, something won. Drugs. <laughs> Drugs won big That's in right. this election. Yeah. yeah. If you're a drug user, yeah. congratulations. Well done, drugs. In certain states, though, right? I know um, several Republican states decriminalized and basically legalized marijuana. Okay. So, like Montana, Arizona, now uh, 15 states. Oh, and South Dakota. 15 states have basically legalized marijuana. It's going to be reefer madness yeah. everywhere. Oregon decriminalized all drugs. Wow. Which is wild. Yeah. And then a few states um, kind of followed the Denver thing and legalized magic mushrooms. Wow. Yes. Yeah, I mean, for <laughs> me, you know, okay, so I'm not a big drug guy. Never have been. Uh, moderate on the alcohol, all that good yeah. stuff. Don't smoke, all that stuff. is Kyle's. So as a non-drug user, what do you think about the winning of drugs this election? I, I really think... Um, drug users need help mm -hmm. as opposed to jail. Yes. Right. Now, the guys that are importing it, the guys that are on the street corner selling it, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff, let's get them off the street. But, you know, let's get the folks that are, you know, addicted. And we're not talking about marijuana. Marijuana is probably so much better than alcohol. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, and there's people in jail for, like, personal amounts of marijuana. There's right. people in jail for smoking crack. But right. I'm so with you on that. Like, that, those guys shouldn't be, those guys and girls shouldn't be in jail. No. They should be in treatment. Right. Dealing with addiction. Yeah, and, and it's so lopsided, too, right? Because if you're African-American. Yeah. And you got caught with X amount of of drugs, mm -hmm. your sentence is going to be like life, right? You might as well put you on death row. Yes, but if you're Skip from Alpha, Theta, Kappa, right. Fraternity. Right, <laughs> who was yeah. buying, you know, yeah. a big baggie for the weekend for all his fraternity brothers. Yeah. It's like, oh, bad, yeah. don't ever do it again. Go do some community service. Yeah, son. exactly, exactly. We'll wipe this off your record. But and this is coming from a white guy. Yeah, you got lots of potential, Skip. 
We'll, yeah. we'll make sure this goes away as long as you uh, just go do this work. Yeah, absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, but it'll be, I mean, I know a lot of states are making a lot of tax revenue off marijuana. And so it seems like, well, 15 states have legalized it. And so it's still a class one, or what is it? What are, there's like some designation. Marijuana is still federally illegal. Right. So, and that's the problem for most yeah. states is yeah, yeah, it's hard to get around the banking laws yeah. and stuff. I'll admit, I enjoy myself a little pot chocolate here and there. Um, and whenever I go buy it from our local store here in Washington, I have to pay cash because I guess bank accounts or banks don't allow pot dealers to. <laughs> to yeah. You yeah. can't have a Bank of America and That's account. why all those pot shops have, shops, pot shops have just mega security. Yes. So. Yeah. Because they got a pile. It's like a casino. Yeah. They just got piles of cash. Right. Right. Um, yeah. What else is in the news? I have a weird, sad piece of news. Oh. Uh, a very rare albino moose was killed in Canada this what? week. What? Apparently, they're uh, very sacred animals to right. a lot of tribes up yeah. in Ontario. Yeah. And uh, one was killed by hunters, and they don't. They're trying to get the the hide back so they can have a ceremony. Man. Uh, so if anybody watching this. It knows somebody who killed a white moose. Get that hide back and say you're sorry. Yeah, what are you going to do with it? I mean, are you going to yeah. stuff it and put it in your house where nobody can see it because right. you're going to be the guy. Yeah. Right? So was that registered as an endangered animal? Was it off limits? You weren't supposed to shoot They're it? They're not, actually. Okay. They're, it's just a... And it's not albino. I was looking this up a little bit. It's like a regressive gene. So they're not technically albinos, but it's an all-white moose, and they show up every now and then. Um, yeah, I've heard about the all-white buffaloes and stuff. Yeah, right? yeah. It's a similar thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they're not, like, protected separately from other meese. I'm going to make meese a word for lots of moose. It's one of my life goals. Uh, <laughs> murder of moose. Yes. <laughs> a flock of moose. But that happened in Ontario, so sad news. Man, that sucks. Craziness. Yeah. Uh, what else has been going on in the world in these past two weeks? Yeah, just, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Biden's trying to get in with the transition yeah. team. Um you know, they're kind of blocking him, right? Like they're they're not, totally blocking. They're not letting his folks go in there and start the. Even work the transition. administrator of the GSA is not releasing funds. Not you know they're not doing um, transition national security meetings yeah. and stuff, which can be deadly. So just kind of a little quick point here. Back yeah. in two thousand, mm -hmm. when there was and it wasn't like GW's fault, it wasn't Al Gore's fault. It was came down to one county in Florida yeah. with three hundred something votes mm -hmm. that delayed the transition yeah and you know nobody at fault but that also delayed Bush's national security team to be able to come in and get all the facts straight because what happened and get a plan together what happened nine months later yeah nine planes, eleven yeah. planes into into buildings that's so, an interesting uh, yeah I mean it's correlation I don't know if that yeah. could happen but I mean mm. it seems likely that maybe they were behind the eight ball because uh, they weren't working yeah. together yeah. And, I mean, we've got this huge COVID thing right now, so Biden's yeah. probably got some good ideas. His his new COVID task force needs to start working and transitioning yeah, talking with to Fauci. Trump's talking to Fauci and yeah. all that. Because, so. I mean, that's really the biggest news, I think, for me, is like the just wicked, wicked resurgence of COVID across the nation. Yeah. Big new restriction here in Washington State, Michigan. Other states are sure to follow. Yeah. Uh, it's coming back with a vengeance. Yeah. And really, yeah, like, uh, who knows if Biden has good ideas or bad ideas, but he's our next president. He needs to be able to do whatever he's supposed to, well, to you do. Know, any idea other than just let the states <laughs> figure it out or let's yes. not do anything, it'll disappear on its own or, you know, drink bleach or yeah. inject, inject UV light. <laughs> yeah. you know, all those things didn't work. Right. So, and then we didn't have, you know, hydrochloricin didn't work yeah. and all that stuff. So, yeah, anything, anything different than what we've been doing, mm -hmm. you know, is welcome. Here's a question for you, Charles. Yeah, I got answers. All right. If COVID didn't happen, do you think Trump would have been reelected? Do you think, I do. You do? You do? Yep. You think COVID cost him the reelection? I've, I've been kind of studying it. Yeah. Um, elections come down to the economy. So, yeah. if COVID hadn't happened. You know, and I'm not That's saying true. Trump is, uh, uh, you know, gets all the credit for the economy because it was booming under Obama. And actually, yeah. before COVID hit, it slowed down a little bit under Trump, but it was mm. still strong. Yeah. Right. And there mm -hmm. was work out there and people unemployment was down. Yeah. And that's that's what drives an election. So well, and I think 
like this election, at least for me, was a lot closer than I expected it to be. I thought Biden would blow it out. I did too. Um, but it, it wasn't. But if you look at it, though, uh, two aspects. So Trump claimed landslide in the Electoral College last time against Hillary. Biden got the same amount of electoral votes yeah, that true. Trump did in 2016, and he got five million more popular cap That's votes. That's huge. That's huge. I mean, yeah. Trump got second place uh, <laughs> most for the ever. record, most votes ever. Yeah. But still, five million people. So yeah, but yeah, I mean, if if you know the suburbs, that's really what it yeah. came down to is the suburban people. Mm-hmm. You know, so I think if the economy was still going and COVID hadn't shut us down, if Trump had put even the Trump. smallest modicum of of like effort, t- taking it seriously, right? and taking a little bit it. of seriousness into yeah. doing something. You know, at least made it look like he was doing something and say, ah, we, you know, we're, we're yes. trying to stay ahead of it. Here's what we're still doing. Still might have been elected. Yeah. Craziness. Yeah. Well, I think we're about time for a break, my yeah, good let's friend. Do a break. We'll let's give it some time. We'll some come drink back. Drinks. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. See you soon. We're back, and um, first I have news that you already know about, oh. but I think it's worthy of news. Okay. Did you know? Hold on. That Snoop Dogg has wine. I did know this. <laughs> yes, I know we drank it at your house the other day. <laughs> but this is this is news to me. Yeah. This should be news. More people should be talking about it. Snoop Dogg has a wine, and it was pretty good. Yeah. It's a uh, Cali Red. Just a blend, right? Yeah, 19 yeah. Crimes tells the true story. Mm. Oh, we already heard about this. Anyway, Snoop Dogg Wine. It is, is origin of California, 14.1% alcohol. I got my bottle at 7-Eleven. That's so. cooler than mine at Fred Meyer. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah. I walk into 7-Eleven, there it is on the shelf. I'm Indeed. like, oh, I'm Indeed. buying that. Well, on that subject, since yes. we just went through some sad news, oh. shall we bring out the whiskey of Let's the week? Do it. Yes. I'm into it. All right. Well, and today... What do we got today? Today, we have a whiskey I've been wanting to try for a while. It's Basil Hayden's Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Oh. So, this is artfully aged in in a Kentucky hillside and bottled a smooth 80 proof. Basil Hayden's sophisticated taste remains true to the old family recipe. With more rye than a traditional bourbon and its trademark acebice finish, it's easy to enjoy Basil Hayden's any way you like. Nice. Spokesman. Yeah. You're looking for a new one. Kentucky bourbon. So I've heard... Oh. Can I get into it? Oh. That is a fancy bottle. Yeah. And I've heard about Basil Hayden's being this like fancy awesome bourbon before, but I've never tried it. Okay. And so I'm excited to try this with you, my good friend. It's very yellow from here. Yeah. It's almost like it's wearing a shirt and has a belt, like an amber color. Yeah, yeah a shirt with a belt, and that's a cool belt buckle. Yeah. So we'll try ourselves some Basil Hayden and tell you, the people, our fans who we love, what we think. Mmm. Is it spicy? I smell a little smooth. I like it. Yellowy gold. Yeah, it is. Well, what are we toasting to? President-elect Biden. Nice. May he have success. May he have success and may his team no be good. who you voted for. Yes, indeed. We need it. Oh, my gosh. That's good. That is smooth. <laughs> yeah. That is some good stuff. Oh, that is some good whiskey right Ooh, there. Ooh, warm in the belly. I taste the spicy finish for sure. Right. Mm. Oh, yeah. Wow. I wouldn't want to mix anything with that. That's no. just good. No. That's a good old sipping whiskey. Yeah, thank you, Basil. Hate it. The hype was not overhyped. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Delicious. Let me look at this bottle. Yeah. Interesting. Good. That's a nice That is smooth. just a trippy little belt that he's got. <laughs> yeah. On here. Can you guys see that? <laughs> Can you see that? Good stuff. That? that is just. Mmm, mmm. Interesting. Well, hey, I have some fun trivia for you. Yes. Well, not trivia. But as we toasted to Biden, it seems like the right time okay. to share this with the people. So, uh, Biden was born in 1942, I believe. Okay. He's start of 
Yeah. Of, uh, well, not start of, but right in the middle. Yes, right in the middle of World, World War II. II. Um, and so, Biden turned 18 in 1960. Wow. So, do you know who uh, opened their presidential campaign and won in 1960? Would that be John Fitzgerald Kennedy? It would be. So, Biden's first ever vote as an adult could have gone to JFK. It did not? I don't know. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't find out. I would assume so because <laughs> yeah. Biden's a Catholic and JFK is yeah. a Catholic. Yeah. They were both in the Northeast. Yeah. You know, so you would think so. Indeed. And so I was looking up, like, when Joe Biden was 18, I mean, he's, he's going to be our oldest president. And so the world is very different. It is. I was thinking around, what, what happened in 1960? When yeah. Biden was 18, became a man. Well, JFK announced his presidential bid mm -hmm. and won the primary and then won the election. Right. Uh, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish uh -oh. was published. Little Dr. Seuss. Yes. So that book was brand new when ah. Mr. Joe Biden wow. was 18 years old. Wow. The first transcontinental telegraph was sent in 1961. From what? U.S. to... You know what? I'm going to fact check that. <laughs> Wait a second. I kind of copied and pasted that. Maybe they meant 1861. <laughs> That seems odd. It does seem light. On yeah. The date. I mean, there was phones in 1960. There was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look. But that maybe one up. maybe there wasn't. Maybe, no, no. Maybe what they're talking about is <laughs> like, uh, the transcontinental telegraph wire. That because you'd have to lay a wire all you'd the way across yeah. the Atlantic, yeah. and that's a big job. That is a huge job. Yeah, and then yeah. maintain it. So maybe that happened. Okay. We'll fact check it. Tell us at home. Leave us a comment. How off am I? Exactly. Uh, in gaming news. Oh. Twister was invented. <gasps> Twister. Well, it hit the market. Yeah. Everybody 1960. thought they were gonna get laid yeah. with Twister. Can you imagine an eighteen-year-old Joe Biden grabbing a brand new, fresh off the press <laughs> copy of Twister? Looking like Don Draper. <laughs> yeah. Hey, baby. Yeah. Getting a little too close to women. Hanging out in his dorm room. Anybody yes. want to play Twister? <laughs> yeah. um, and last but not least. The laser was invented. The laser. The laser was invented Giant in 1960. Laser. Yes. Nice. So, thank you, Joe Biden, for the laser. Nice. Yeah, well, we'll give him credit. Why yeah. not? But this kind of wild. credit for Twister. Indeed, indeed. So, Why not? when Joe Biden could first vote, he probably voted for JFK while he was trying to convince the sorority girl to play Twister. Exactly. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, he would have to go to the polling place, but <laughs> yeah. it's like, oh, we got to hurry up and play because i got to get <laughs> yeah. over and vote. Indeed. Right. Indeed. Oh, yeah. Weird, man. Weird. Um, I have one more piece of news kind of aligned. Okay. So I'm going to share that with, with the people. Uh, there is one smooth presidential transition happening right now as we speak. Oh. I feel like people need good news about presidential transitions. Yes. And so I looked up this company in Japan. Okay. And they make presidential masks. And they've reported that they're having no issues transitioning from Trump masks to Biden masks. <laughs> and their machines are doing fine. So, awesome. we, we could learn from this company. Awesome. Konnichiwa. <laughs> yes. Nice. Indeed. I actually thought about getting a Biden and a Trump mask for us to wear on a Halloween episode. <laughs> that would have been so fun. would have been fun. <laughs> yeah. Maybe 2024, because, you know, Trump yeah. says he's going to run again. Indeed. Indeed. Well, I have uh, one more one more piece of news. Okay. If, 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 I, if I may. Yeah. And this kind of follows the theme of some uh, news I've been finding for previous shows. Anyone. All right. right on. So this is another potentially achievable world record. Oh. All right. So a new world record was set. The tree hugging. Thing. Yeah. I need to do that. A new world record was set last week. Okay. And a man set a new record for the most pieces of caramel corn tossed into his own mouth in under a minute. Like, like throws it up yeah, in the air, throws it up, and catches it. it. I've never been super good at that. Yeah, I'm pretty good with grapes. I don't know about caramel corn. The balance and the weight might be off. Oh, it is. It's weird little like physical oddity shaped thing. Let me guess. So how how long? One minute. One the minute. record for how many corns tossed into his open mouth in one minute. I'm gonna say he got a shot in the dark. All right, 120. Ooh, way high. Way 50, high. Fifty. Oh, 50. 50. Less than a second? Less than, a, less than one per second is the new world record. That's wow. another achievable world record. I think somebody could beat that. Yeah. yeah. It's just getting the, uh, the uh, Guinness Society out yeah, to judge exactly. it in the COVID. Yeah. So how are you going to do that? Yeah. We should come up with our own thing. Oh, like a I don't know what it would world be. record? Yeah. Hmm. Could be game related. Could be. We should. We could make up a soup to nuts world record. Oh. 
Yeah. You could say like the longest ever answer to a nuts question. <laughs> It'd be like forty five seconds. Ramble, <laughs> ramble on for a yeah. minute and a half. Yeah. Yeah, that that, that would be, be achievable. That could be good. That would be achievable for it sure. Could be good. Yeah. Indeed. Right on. Indeed. Any more news? No, the only the thing that I was thinking, and, and I I just started reading it, but I'm starting to read this book called The Madness of Crowds by Douglas Murray that's been very interesting. And he's uh, kind of looking into some really hot button issues. He's looking at like gay issues, transgender issues, and um, I think environmental issues. And he's kind of challenging orthodox thinking um, about some of these kind of hot button issues where they're they're not political but they've become very politicalized. Yeah. Like the, the one example he was talking about was when Peter Thiel, who's a, a really famous venture capitalist, um, was the first openly gay man to speak and headline at the Republican National Convention. Um, and that didn't really make news. And he kind of got ostracized from the gay community and de gayed mm. for this. When it should have been like kicked this, out of the club. Yeah, but it should have been this huge like yeah. uh, moment of like, hey, even what the Republicans. Was uh, it was 2016, I think. Really? He yeah. was a, he was a Trump guy. Long, huh? Yeah. Yeah, but it should have been hailed as like this monument. Like, yeah. even in the. RNC, right? An openly gay man can be a keynote. Yeah, because there's been like <laughs> log cabin Republicans for a long time, which are yeah. a party, uh, a group of uh, homosexual mm -hmm. uh, Republicans. Yeah, and so that should have been bigger news and kind of an acceptance thing. Instead, he was kind of ostracized and wow. kicked out of the, the gay community by a bunch of prominent folks. And so it's exploring some of those uh, kind of misconceptions and kind of painting everybody with one brush right. type of situations, yeah. which we as humans are kind of wired to do. We are. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we gotta Slap be a label what? on it. Yes. Indeed. I don't know what it is. Slap a label on Indeed. it. Indeed. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, but those those are my newses. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's take a little break. And uh, mm -hmm. let's come back, and we've got a, uh, a loot crate box. Yeah. And uh, Kyle and I are going to look at it. We might divvy up the contents of it. Mm -hmm. And if uh, we or our kids don't like them, we'll put them out for a contest for you. You can win some loot crate. Loot crate. See you soon. Welcome back to the show. The show of record. Right? Yes. All right. Uh, so, uh, Kyle and I thought it'd be interesting to uh, employ some of those subscription boxes that yeah. you see everywhere. And it took us a while. I do uh, Stitch Fix uh -huh. a mm -hmm. couple times a year. My youngest does that. I've narrowed it down. Mother. Um, and I think it's pretty good. I mean,. Uh, uh, I've gotten some good stuff, some stuff that I probably wouldn't have gotten otherwise. So it kind of breaks me out of my shell. Nice. Uh, but I'm not really a fashion guy. Oh, come on. As you can see. You're awfully dumb. Um, oh, thank you. Um, but, you know, when it comes to popular culture and stuff, I love yes. little trinkets and crap yes. for a while. And then I usually you know, get rid of it to move, make room for something else. But uh, I'm curious stuff. to see what yeah. we're going to get. So uh, Loot Crate. We signed up for the beautiful Loot Crate. And if you don't know, uh, Loot Crate puts together a monthly box mm -hmm. uh, curated by their folks. And I think they're all relatively some kind of theme. Okay. So okay. I'm wondering if this is going to be a... So maybe like Marvel or yeah. something like that. Yeah. This might end up being like a Halloween theme. Okay. But they'll put like t-shirts, they'll put figures in there, they'll do all, oh, and I see a t-shirt right off the bat. So. Loop, 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 loop. Oh, it so, says Marvel on it. It does say Marvel, did I so. I guess the thing? You did. What is the Marvel Ooh. shirt? You tell me. What is it? Spawn. Oh, that is Spawn. Spawn. That's pretty cool. That's a dope shirt. Yeah. I almost watched the Spawn movie this uh, this last weekend. Uh, with, uh, what's his face? Yeah. Uh, the, the, the newest guy. one. New, yeah, yeah. It was in Dunkirk. You know, yeah. I can't think of his name. Have Tom Hardy. It? Have you seen it? I have. Is it pretty good? It's pretty good. All right. Yeah. I elected yeah. to watch the uh, that miniseries you recommended, The uh, Liberators. The Liberators. That's World good. War II yeah, I watched really two, two episodes series. of it. That's a cool yeah. series. Yeah. 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 That was fun. So, t-shirt. Uh -huh. uh, oh, what is this? Atomic Ooh. Cats. Atomic. Uh, and then this is like a beanie hat right here. Oh, good that. for winter. <laughs> What's that? Atomic Cat. Oh. Atomic Cat. <laughs> Fun. How fun is that? Fun. Little That's beanie. pretty fun. Yeah. Good deal. And Good a deal. small package. Oh, the crow. Ooh. This is a... Not really Marvel theme. Not a toy. Oh, it's a bottle opener. 
That's like pretty cool. Bottle of liquor. Oh man, that movie that's like, pretty badass. I remember that movie distinctly. From I, the love the yeah. I love yeah. the crow. I love the crow. Was so sad that's about pretty Brandon cool. Lee. I think that might have to live in your bar, sir. That's pretty cool. That's pretty dope. Yeah. I don't know how you display it though. It'd be kind of how you display it. Yeah. Anyway, but it's cool. The crow. Yeah. What else then we, we got a beaver chipmunk groundhog something groundhog. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know what that is <laughs> i don't know what that is our kids might know what that is can you see that is that focused it looks here? like it's a kind of that like a funky animation style the beaver or chipmunk looks upset i wonder if it's like from uh yeah. caddyshack or something oh ah, that's pretty cool that's pretty interesting and pretty then we've cool. got one uh, big box i see black widow on it so that's black marvel widow. style widow yes oh Oh, uh, why is that actress's name escaping me now? Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson. I and mean, yes. she's going to, there's a Black Widow movie. Yeah, they thing. haven't released it yeah. because of COVID. I think they'll end up, it's that and the Wonder Woman movie we've been wanting to see with, with the girl. With that's like, girl a, child. like an 80s or 90s Wonder Woman movie, right? Yeah, 80s, I think. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty fun. Yeah. All right. Is the, oh, it's oh. A, a figure. It's a little, a little standard figure. Ah. Standing figurine. Natasha Romanoff. Natasha oh, Romanov. I like that. I like that it's not the Scarlett Johansson Black Widow either. It might not be. Yeah, it's no, a Marvel that, comic book. Yeah, that looks so. more like the Black Widow I remember from uh, from, from some of the comics. Days. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, very it. interesting. Loot crate. Yes, thank you, Loot Crate. Very interesting Loot stuff you've indeed. got here. Indeed. Yeah. How about that? Right on. That's well, cool. I'm curious to see what the heck this little beaver dude is. Yeah. Maybe there's Maybe a little note or something. Can you tell us at home about the beaver? I'm going to do a quick look at this guy. Look. What do we got going on here? It looks like he's in a beaver trap, maybe? Yeah. He's in something. Maybe if you scan this little QR yeah. code that came with it, they'll tell us what, what each of these fine pieces are. Yes. Very fun. Very fun. Yeah. yeah. Well, hey, I um, spent a little bit of money myself. Okay. Then I got a new thing. What'd you get? Another board game. Oh. I actually got two games. Two? But one's not a board game. Okay. So I got this guy. Soup to nuts. Oh, you already have that one. Oh, yes. Another World War II game yes. for us to try our hand at. Yes. Because we're big on Axis and Allies, but this yeah. is a bit different, right? You were explaining this to me. Yeah. So you can, here, I'll show it to the folks at home. See, it's more of like a, a battlefield. A single battlefield. Yeah. And right. so you're okay. trying to, like, tactically position on the battlefield. Okay. Um, and there's a whole bunch of expansions to this, too. I've never played it. I've been kind of interested to play it for a while. And so since I've been... Spending too much money on board games, I was like, what the hell, I'll buy it. <laughs> what the, what yeah. the hell, it's a pandemic. So you can expect pretty soon here, probably sometime uh, in the next month or two, that Charles and I are going to set the sucker up and uh, take you through. Yeah, yeah, and we take have this, this as one of our, uh, so if you didn't know, yeah. Dunscap Games also sells used games and yeah. slightly used games, meaning new but not. Dunscap Certified. Dunscap yes. Certified. Um, on our eBay and our own website, dunscapgames.com, mm -hmm. in the shop there, we've got plenty of games. And we had that for a while that we ended up selling. We never played yeah. it because it was new. So I'm really wanting to dive into this. And it was one of those games that, like, it was out of print for a while. So I think we bought it for, like, 20 or 30 bucks, and it sold for, like, 90 Yeah. And now it's back in print. So it was only 40 bucks on okay. Amazon. Okay, cool. Uh, but it's back. And is it two player? Is it multiple player? Uh, two. One? This one's two. I think you can get expansions that take it to three. Okay. But the general way you're supposed to play it for fairness is that you uh, you take an allies and an axis, and then you play through it, and then you flip it and play through it again, and then you add up the victory points that each person got after playing both sides. So oh. you kind of you're supposed to each play each side okay. once, and then you add it all up. So I mean, is there's different probably different units, and you got to yeah. figure out how to mm -hmm. you know engage those yeah. units and who's going after who. Yeah. And is it all dice roll combat or? Uh, no, it's not dice roll combat. There will no, no, sorry, there are dice in it, but it's not like a six sided dice. It's some other weird kind of dice. Okay. And then um, you roll, and like uh, there's hits, and there's also hits that make people retreat. Um, but it looks a lot more tactical. But there is still like the luck dice roll element built into it. Okay. I think. But I've only read the back, so I don't. <laughs> I need to watch a how-to video or something. Maybe watch we'll, the video. Yeah, we'll post one up or something. Yeah, nice for, for y'all to see. Nice. Yeah. All right. Cool. I'm looking forward to playing that. Yeah. And you said you got another one. Oh, I bought. Uh, 
And I'm, I'm probably three years too late on this, but I just found the perfect game that's probably going to steal my life for a while. Um, have you heard of the that? Uh, it was on the Xbox and PlayStation, the uh, Red Dead yes. Redemption 2. Yes. Yeah, have you played that one? Oh, I have. Yeah. Oh, man. I bought I it for PC. The first two games. Oh, oh, you got it for PC? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because I'm a huge Wild West buff, and this game is supposed to be like one of the best games ever made. Yeah. And I was like, how have I never played yeah. this? And I kind of remember more of. I think the second one. That's what I got. It was two. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. What I have that I'm gonna big, put down. Big world. You go all the way down to like what's yeah. supposed to be Mexico. You can go all the way up into the woods where it's <laughs> snowy. There's bears you can hunt yes. that come kill you as you're trying to set up camp. Um, there's outlaws that you can go hunt them down as a bounty hunter yes. to make money. I mean, there's it seems like you can kind of, of make the, the choice to be white hat or black hat, too. Right, like, depending yeah. on what you do, you can become Yeah, I don't know that it affects the hated or loved. overall mission altogether. And I think it takes place kind of turn of the century. Yeah, it's 1899 right, is what yeah. it's set. Yeah. 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 yeah, so there are a few scenes where they'll have some steam-powered cars mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So, Fun. yeah, brilliant game, awesome game, love it. Uh, might have to play it again. Yeah, well, I'm, I've I only played on Xbox. the very first mission... Uh, um, that's like a tutorial, but I'm already yeah. kind of falling in love with it. So Sweet. I'm already Good on you, dude. diving deep. Got to get my game on. <laughs> it's winter time and we're on lockdown. Right on. <laughs> right on. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, what do you think we should do? We got. You know, should we divide up our loot crate? Should we do it? Yeah. Is there anything that you're like super awesomely interested in? You know, um, honestly, no. Honestly, no. I think it's all kind of cool stuff, but nothing's yeah. screaming at me. The only thing I think might be fun for the girl child in my house might be the beanie cap. Ah, yes. Um, I know Is she, she familiar would... with the Atomic Cat? I don't. I'm not familiar yeah. with the Atomic Cat. I just either. thought it was kind of funny. That is pretty cool. I like that. Um, she might yeah. not be. I'm gonna have to look that up. And well, see why don't you give it a shot? Okay. Give it a whirl. We should probably ask the kids about the beaver. Yeah. I mean, if you want yeah. to do the beaver to one of your uh, girl childs. Yeah. Uh, would would Nevea be into the to the t shirt? She, she might, might be large for her. She's kind of teenager and She's loves super baggy tall stuff. Tall girl, she is. I think it's a. We can oh, it is an extra large, but it'll probably shrink down a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll ask. And then wow. anything anything that doesn't end up getting claimed, we can put. We'll throw up as a giveaway. Of a giveaway contest yeah. time. Probably the Black uh, Widow uh, thing, unless you're really into it. No, not really. Yeah. I always thought Black cool. Widow was cool, but she's never been my top Marvel. Yeah, ever. and I don't think uh, I know my my daughter's into female superheroes, which is mm -hmm. awesome for me. Uh, yeah. But I don't think this really fits with her room decor and her stuff. Motif. So her motif. Her motif. So that might be a good one <laughs> uh, to offer up to our ah yes. Folks. It's so, a cool stand. It is very yeah cool. yeah Sweet. standy. It's a standee. Standee. All right, well, should we take him to a break? Yeah, let's uh, take a break. Come com back and do a little, a little company. Uh, little company update. Company chit chat. Yeah, yeah. What happened here? What did I do? I don't know. We got to have music that's not <laughs> going off of Jay Z. Hey, are these, are these your good uh, Are these your tunes? These are all my tunes. Nice. These are all. Visit again, SoundCloud. Everybody. SoundCloud. Check out Dunce Cap Games on SoundCloud. DCG Productions. <laughs> All right, I'll cut that out, I guess. <laughs> Singing's never yeah. been uh, yeah. my strongest uh, skill set. Do, that's right? why I play drums and yeah. stuff and avoid singing. And that's why I play <laughs> air guitar and air drum. Yes. Well, hey, we'll sing along. For this next section, I'm going to have another cup of basil because it's sad. It is kind of sad. sad. So sad. We've had a couple of weeks of Seahawk games that did Deep. not go our way. No, how many interceptions? So they are <laughs> three for four in the last four games, which mm -hmm. I knew that these five games, this little section, you did call was going to be the diff most difficult. But you I was call hoping it. that they would go three and two, not three and five or, yeah. or whatever it's going to end up being. Does Thursday okay. count in the top? It does, five? yeah. Okay. This is the end of that five-game stretch. It okay. started with the Cardinals, yep. ends with the Cardinals. Hey. So, and Tyler Murray, uh, Kyler Murray is playing out of his mind for the Cardinals. So, Did they beat the Bills yeah, this they weekend? Beat the, 
bills that came from behind with the Hail Mary yeah. pass. <laughs> Jeez. So uh, Seahawks law dropped two, one to the Bills and one to uh, yeah. the hated Los Angeles. And they weren't Rams. they weren't like close losses in the first fourth quarter. We kind of got stomped around a bit. Yeah, it got stomped around a little bit. They they did mount a comeback mm-hmm. in the Bills game, but just couldn't quite get there. Yeah. Uh, too many mistakes. Uh, Russell threw yeah. too many interceptions, which kind of knocked him off his MVP uh, pedestal. Yeah. So we'll see if we can get that back. I was chatting with my dad a little bit. He's a big Hawks guy. He likes watching the games, and he was saying he thinks Russ looks scared. He won't, he doesn't know why. Mm-hmm. And he's looking a little looking a little shaken for some reason. Nervous. Yeah. I think part of it is you know they and in no excuse right you you play with the team you got but they yeah. had like nine starters. Yes. Uh, and most of them been on defense. I mean they've been without their two starting running backs. Well the center the O line's been a little beat up too right. It's the starting yeah. centers out was out. Uh, their two starting cornerbacks were out. Mm-hmm. Uh, a couple of defensive linemen were out. Uh, Bruce Irvin who was supposed to be that Leo guy that come in and rush. Yeah. He's been out all season so it hasn't been easy yeah uh, it's not supposed to be easy but you know if you have the team and then on the flip side you know the Rams came in I think oh, they yeah. had every starter playing yeah so and they're kinda, playing a bang out season the Rams are yeah. good this year yeah uh, now they're tied but not the Rams sorry the Bills I was the Bills are having those darn season. herbivore creatures Rams and Bills that's our problem there That's it what it is. That's yeah. what it is. And the Hawks are, are very much carnivorous. So, yeah. Um, darn it. Too big for a hawk to eat. We'll have to just go munch on Cardinals this Thursday. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And not a big deal. I mean, it's the, you know, snap out of it. They're still six and three. Mm-hmm. Right. Which well, is a great way to start the season. Yeah. Well, and we're known for being finishers. We're known for being a second half team. We're known for being strong at the end of the season. Right. So if we need to go through this slump now to get everybody healthy shake them up, get some reality into their goggles yeah. so they can close out strong. And here's what we've got. We've got the Cardinals at home mm-hmm. in a couple of days. So we're finally back home mm-hmm. after being on the road for two games. And it's a short rest period, too. It's a short rest. Yeah. Um, and then they have four games with, I don't want to say easy teams because no team is easy, yeah. but they've got the New York Jets. I know we have Philly on Monday night, too. They've it's got a Monday Philly. night football. Yeah, they've got the Giants and mm-hmm. they've got the Washington Football Team, and all of those are way, way sub five hundred teams. All right, good. So, I mean, uh, not for nothing. Yeah, they should. Those are all games they should easily win, right? which would put us in very strong playoff positioning. Yeah, and then they come home and they've got San Francisco again, yeah. um, and San Francisco's so beat up that yeah. that should be an as win game. And then they finish out the season with the Rams at home. Okay. And hopefully by then, mm-hmm. you know, depending on injuries and who gets re-injured and all that stuff, yeah. hopefully it'll be a better story this mm-hmm. next time. And at that point, they might be fighting for, you know, first place in the NFC, definitely yeah. first place in the NFC West. Totally. So I don't think this is a strong Seahawk playoff team because mm-hmm. – uh, Playoffs, you need defense. Yeah, and the defense has been looking a little, a little staggered, a little raggedy. Um, yeah, so we can we'll pull see. it together, though. We'll we can see. Pull it together. Yeah, Russ gets back on his on his pedestal and starts mm-hmm. throwing the ball like he's out of his mind. Things will get better. Well, we have a D lineman step up and start making some moves and putting yeah. pressure. I mean, Carlos Hyde's only been in for a couple of games. He's the yeah. new guy um, that they brought over. Carlos Dunlap, excuse me, uh, from the uh, beautiful Bengals. Ah. Yeah, so he's only been in for a couple of games. These guys need to start gelling. And I, I heard a fun fact today listening oh. to uh, talk radio, uh, sports radio, is that the starting defensive backs okay. for the Seahawks have only played one game all together. Oh, so we're talking safeties and cornerbacks <laughs> have only been on the field one time oh. together, and that was the first game of the season. No preseason games. Jumped right back wow. into it. So, I mean, there is some gelling that needs to happen, some communication okay. stuff. Is that, where is, I could look at you and go, I need you to do and you know what I'm thinking, yeah. right? Like, we need a boom and, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. So. Is, that, is Flowers a starter or is he a backup? Flowers, I think, is their fifth DB. So when they go in into trouble. a nickel package, that's when he, he comes, comes in. Out. Okay. Yeah, but he's starting because they've got yeah. guys injured. He's so. so backed out. Yeah. Well, Hawks, we'll be watching you on Thursday. That's why we're filming on Tuesday. Gawks! Yeah. And we have some company news to share with you. Yeah. We do. 
Dunscap Games, new Amazon pages moving. We've had a couple sales. Yep. Could always yep. use more Several sales. seller reviews. Yeah, just started moving a little bit of sales on eBay, too. So yeah. check out our eBay account. Totally. Dunscap Games on eBay. Absolutely. We have the Call for Pets still happening, though it's kind of plateaued out. Yeah, it's right about uh, things kind of yeah, stuff in the... 22 pets or something, 23, yeah. 22 yeah. or 23. So we need about double that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So send us your pets. Mm -hmm. Please. Yeah, and we've done, so our goal for 2020 was to reinvent Soup to Nuts, our, our awesome hit party game. Yeah. And part of that reinvention was to consolidate it, make it tighter, mm -hmm. um, make it smaller, and get it to a lower price point so more people Distill could Distill it, it like right? a fine whiskey. Like a fine whiskey. Yeah. So um, that's one of the things we've kind of been working on off and on uh -huh. throughout 2020. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to finish it. But we still have a bunch of the original version. So the original, original version, the MSRP, uh, for us is $24.99. Mm -hmm. The new version, I think we're looking at probably a twelve ninety nine, eleven ninety nine, yeah. somewhere mm -hmm. in that range, because it'll be distilled down, it'll be smaller packaging, yeah. and a bunch of other stuff. But we want to move copies. We want lots of but, people to have and play this game. Yeah, so we're try but we still have a ton of yes. the version one stuff out there, so we're lowering, lower, lower, dun, lower. Dun, dun. How low can we go? <laughs> but wait, there's more. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're lowering the price down on all of our outlets uh, down to, what do we say? 15 Yeah, fourteen ninety nine. dollars 99 I think that's what we've got it. So yeah. grab a copy today if you've been waiting on it. Uh, version 2 is nice because it's got double the cards that version 1 will have. So you've got more. Uh, and you got that backwards. Version 1 has double the cards. That double the cards version, two, version have. 2 will have. It's <laughs> part of the reason we can make version yes. 2 uh, less expensive. Uh, but version 2, um, or version 1, has double the cards, so you've got a lot more playable uh, Indeed. opportunities. And it makes a very good gift. Yeah, Christmas so is coming. So if you're looking for what to Kwanzaa get... Kwanzaa is coming. Yeah, there's tricky, tricky gift people. Uh, Soup to Nuts is a great way to do it. And you're supporting a local company in a pandemic. Uh, we can't we can't keep our retail store open anymore thanks to the governor, so we have to go all online. All online. Yeah. Good thing. So we're check us out. Dunscapgames.com. Yeah. eBay mm -hmm. for Dunscap Games. Amazon. Amazon for Dunscap Games. Yep. What else have we got? Our website. Did you call that out? Let's do it again. Dunscapgames.com. Yeah. Do Easy it. Easy to remember. Do it. Easy to remember. All right. Well, should we take them out? Come back with some crazy eights. What do you yeah, think? Yeah. Let's take them out. Come back with some crazy. Alright, let's do it. Soup. Alright. Oh, oh cold back. open. We're back. We're back. And we got crazy AIDS. Wait, wait, wait. Do it. I can't believe I did. You gonna do it? It's time for crazy. That nah, was kind of weak. Well, better next time. Good. Yeah. Practice that during the week. Yeah. You expect more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So we thought it'd be fun since Thanksgiving is next week, and you might be watching this next week, and it might be a couple days before Thanksgiving. Yeah. We decided to list our favorite Thanksgiving Day foods. Favorites. Right? We yes, we did. That's what I did. Mine we are on the same page. Mine are a little the are, are there's going to be some bleeding. Some bleeding over of one to the other. Okay. You'll see what I mean. All right. You'll see what we mean. Well, then you start. Right. My number eight is cranberry sauce with mm. turkey. Okay. Cranberry sauce with turkey. With turkey. I don't like okay. it by itself, but mixed in with turkey, it's okay. delicious. Not a big fan of cranberry sauce. Not on my list. Not anywhere. Nope. Not even on a sandwich. Nope. Not even as a side. Nope. Not even for the color. Nah. All right, all right. Nah. I can dig it. I can nah, dig what it. is it about the cranberry and turkey together? I don't know. Like, I don't like cranberry sauce by itself. It's a little bitter to me. Okay. Um, but with turkey, and especially on a turkey sandwich, it's just, it hits the spot. It just combines it well. Would, I guess it would enhance the turkey, right? Yeah. Maybe I'll try it. I don't yeah. even know if we're making cranberry sauce this year. All right. We don't have a lot of guests coming. Um, yeah. I yeah, don't, I don't have cranberry either. sauce, but I do have turkey on my list, and that comes in at number eight. Ah. Not a huge turkey fan. I like really? turkey sandwich. Oh. I like the turkey more after Thanksgiving for Got a day or two yeah. to make sandwiches with a lot of mayo yeah. and some good bread. Maybe some soup. Does anybody yeah. make turkey soup? Yes, you could. I do make turkey soup. Oh, yeah. Right. Occasionally. Oh, that could be good. Yeah, yeah. 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 Nice. Well, turkey's on my list many times, so I'm not even going to say okay. 
<laughs> it's all over my list. It's all over it. All over it. What's your number eight, sir? That, uh, turkey. Turkey's not your number eight? That's my number oh, eight. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, then uh, I go to my number seven. And I got to go to the green bean casserole for okay. number seven. That's, That's my six. So we're pretty close on that. We are. Yeah. yeah. Is that your is that your main vegetable side dish? I mean, is that what is that the go to? It is. I mean, usually there'll be like a like a some sort of a salad as well. Yeah. But I think that's not most. But uh, okay. green beans typically, and it's not good for you. It's just full of like mushroom soup and mushroom little crunchy, soup bits. And the crunchy bits. Crunchy bits. <laughs> yeah. Do you like the crunchy bits? Yeah. Yeah. Really occasionally, good. I'll do uh, a couple of sides if we have. We, in years past, we've had you know. Uh, yeah, eight, ten, twelve folks over for Thanksgiving. This year we don't have any, so I'm probably not going to make it. But I'll, I'll I'll make some broccoli on the All side right. plus the green bean casserole. Yeah, so we'll mix it up. I don't I know guess. if I'm making it this year either. Tell you the truth, but <laughs> going back into the plums of history. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that was my number six, but my number seven. Yep. is the pumpkin pie. Ooh, yeah. I like pumpkin pie. I don't like a lot of pumpkin pie. I like a little sliver. You know, it's after good. a lot of ice cream or nice whipped cream, yeah. or whatever, especially fresh whipped cream. That's good. Um, not a big pumpkin okay. fan. So. It is very Thanksgiving. Either. We'd rather have an apple pie, mm. but I'll eat the pumpkin if it's there. Indeed, indeed. I have that as number four. Oh, okay. That was my number four. I do love the pumpkin pie with the whipped cream on it. That is... Mm, and that texture is just interesting. Yeah, right. It is. Yeah. You're like a flan. Yeah. A pumpkin flan. <laughs> yes, indeed. Indeed. Well, my number six... Is turkey sandwiches. Okay. Because <laughs> they're different than regular turkey. Yeah, I'd buy okay. that. I mean, like I said, yeah. I'd rather have the sandwiches. Yeah, yeah. Just the, I love the leftover turkey sandwiches and making them for... What kind of bread do you Days and weeks. Uh, usually I like to have just like the, the Dave's Killer, like grain bread stuff. Okay. Like so that. whole grain. Yeah, it's a whole grain. Grain, grain action. A little cranberry sauce, a little mayo, a little mustard, um, less mustard lettuce. Mustard even. Yeah, and okay. some mustard. All right, mm -hmm. all right. Well, maybe not if I do cranberry sauce. That would be weird. That would be weird. Mustard and cranberry sauce. I'd try it. I think about <laughs> it. Yeah, we'll put a whirl. Might, might be good. <laughs> Who knows? Um, uh, where am I at? I'm at number five. Number and my five. five is the roll. Dude. Man, yes. nothing, nothing like a good, soft, fluffy roll to mm -hmm. dip into that gravy and that buttery mashed potatoes. Oh, we got to pound it because that's my number five too. Oh, the fresh braised rolls. Oh, look at us. I didn't think we'd have a ton of similarity, but we're yeah, we're kind of, we're kind of connected. Not like last week with the president. We are. My goodness, and this is going to take me all the way up to number three. Oh wow! Because I had rolls as number four, and then pumpkin pie as number five. Number three is apple pie. Okay. Or the apple pie, I love it. It's delicious. I didn't include it because is is it a traditional Thanksgiving? I, you know, in my traditional Thanksgivings, uh, my parents, my mom mostly usually makes an apple pie, a pumpkin pie, and a chocolate pecan pie. Oh, Those are the three. Mom, we gotta talk. <laughs> the chocolate pecan <laughs> pie, and that's everybody's favorite that I've ever met that's eaten Thanksgiving with me, okay. except mine. I'm not a big fan of the chocolate pecan. Really? Yeah. Okay. Not, my not a big pecan fan, but this is a chocolate pie. So it's it's, it's awesome. yes. But the apple with some yeah. bit of ice cream or something else. Like, oh, so I'm good. all about it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I forget where I'm at. I think uh, I did five was rolled. Oh, four for me is the mashed potatoes. Yeah. Lots of gravy, lots yeah. of butter. Yeah. Melts it in there. Lots of salt and pepper mm -hmm. on there. So good. So yeah. Good. That's always my job, traditionally, is to mash mashed the potatoes. potatoes. And I always do it by hand. I don't use what, any hand what do masher. You, what do you, uh, russets? Or are we talking some white potatoes? I usually try and get the, the golden ones okay. or russets. Okay. And then I usually uh, add a lot of garlic and salt. Um, and then uh, I'll usually leave the skins on. Yep. At least skins it's, on. Yeah. Make it a little bit yep. thick and. And then I hand mash so there's some texture. So it's not yeah. just like eating yeah. cream. Like there's some a little chunk to it. Yeah. You know, I like that yep. chunk. I'll do lots of garlic, lots of butter. Yeah. I'll do some sour cream in oh, there that's a good instead idea. of the yeah. milk. Yeah. You know, a little bit of cream, a little bit of milk. I dig it. Yeah. I dig yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Where are we at? Uh, I. Did we go through most of yours? We did. Yeah. Well, wait. Hold on. So my number two was mashed potatoes, and then okay. my number one is just turkey with gravy. Okay. So you can't, can't go wrong. Well, with my that. my number three yeah. is the hors d'oeuvres. Oh. I put out lots of hors d'oeuvres uh, this year, probably. But I mean, we're talking olive tray. We're talking uh, uh, baked brie with that's some, good uh, blackberry jam or something in there. What about a little uh, snails? What's the fancy word? Oh, the escargot. Escargot. Oh, no? Big fan of that. <laughs> 
Yeah, no. no. Or there's a crack in them. Yeah. Because you got to stretch your stomach out. To yes. Really eat yeah. the main course exactly. well. Exactly. Indeed. You got a snack. And I'm getting hungry all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting close to dinner. Yeah. But number two is gravy. Yeah. You make the gravy right. You get yeah. the cracklings on the bottom. You get the mix in. Do you make, make it with the drippings and all those I things? I do all the yeah. drippings and all that stuff. A little bit of Delicious. flour. Yeah. Get that Delicious. saved up. Yeah. And then my number one. Did you do your number one already? Yeah, I did. Okay. I don't want to take your thunder. No. My number one is my stuffing. Oh, ah, my stuffing. stuffing. I do a uh, Italian sausage stuffing Ooh, with lots of sage that sounds good. and onion, yeah, uh, celery to give mm. it that crunch. It's really good, and I could just I could make a huge batch of that. That sounds good. Week. It's good in the morning. You throw it on the frying pan. Oh yeah, get it a little crispy around the edges. That sounds good. Mm. Stuffing didn't make my list for some reason. I think mm. I forgot about it. Although in my memories of Thanksgiving, stuffing has mostly been just like. Little squares of bread and some uh, vegetables mixed in with it. So yeah. Like a yeah. Italian sausage stuffing? That sounds Italian sausage, pretty lots of sage. Notch. Yeah. Onion, yeah, the, mm. whole, the whole bananas. Yum. Yes. Yeah. Well, right cool. On. There we go. There you go. Crazy Eights. Crazy Eights. And we want to wish y'all a, a, so going to be a weird Thanksgiving this year. I'm sure yeah. we're all doing much smaller gatherings than we all want. Right. And so we hope that yours goes well and is full of love and you do lots of video calls and can yeah. have really fun experiences Grandma, with your loved Grandpa, ones. Mom, and Dad on the yeah. video chat, so at least you got that. Indeed. Yeah. Weird Thanksgiving 2021. And it's coming 2020. up. 2020. 2020. <laughs> We're not there yet. No. Yeah, come on. Yeah, well, hopefully we'll be out of the woods by next year. Yeah. But I uh, hope you all in for a fun Thanksgiving. And I think that's about all we got tonight, eh? I think that's it. All right. I think that's it. Well... Keep yourself safe. Keep your loved ones safe. Enjoy life. Yeah. My name is Kyle McCurdy. And I'm not. We will see you next time.